Paula and her husband are coming back from a dinner when they suddenly find a young girl wandering around in the high road. Two weeks later, after seeing that no one is claiming her back, the two decide to let her stay in at their home temporarily, and so give a twist to their love life in the process. But it won't be that easy, since the girl lives obsessed with the fantasy that a monster will come out and punish her if she ever steps out of a chalk square painted in the floor. After the strong bond created between the two, Paula beams a road down a dark path to try and discover the girl's enigmatic past. Not everyone loves summertime. For Sarah, it just means dealing with the constant barrage of mockery, judgment, and abuse from the other girls in her village. But today is different. A mysterious unknown man arrives in the village and kidnaps her tormentors. Someone has finally stood up for her. Sarah sees it all. The blood, the mud, the knife and the van in which he has taken them, and the unknown man has seen her. A wordless pact that neither will betray, she's an accomplice now. A series of crimes rock the village, and an investigation soon begins. The civil guard has endless questions. The villagers are suspicious and point fingers. The elderly neighbors gossip. The heat is stifling, the pressure suffocating, and her guilt torment her. What if she is found out? What's happened to the girls? What if the unknown man returns? Set in an isolated mountain village in 19th century Macedonia, You Won't Be Alone follows a young girl who is kidnapped and then transformed into a witch by an ancient spirit. Curious about life as a human, the young witch accidentally kills a peasant in the nearby village and then takes her victim's shape to live life in her skin. Her curiosity ignited. She continues to wield this horrific power in order to understand what it means to be human. Like the original movie, 25 years ago, a cute teenage girl is at home alone when the phone rings. A man wants to play a game with her. With the threat of killing her best friend, Tara's forced to play along. She barely survives the ghost face masked intruder stabbing. Her five-year-older sister, Sam Antha, who left home at 18 due to mental problems, Sam's boyfriend and Tara's high school friends visit her at the hospital. Later on in a bar, a guy provokes the friends and is later attacked outside in the parking lot by Ghostface. Sam receives a call from him at the hospital, and then he unsuccessfully attacks her. She later reveals family secrets to her sister. Sam contacts one of the original victims, Dewey, for help. He warns two other original victims, Sidney Prescott and Gail Weathers about Ghostface being back. Who is Ghostface? How many more must die? Set in 1979, adult movie actors and a small film crew arrive to a farmhouse occupied by an elderly couple in the desolate Texas countryside to film an adult movie. As the day shifts to night, the visitors slowly realize that they are not safe and are being targeted by a nearby enemy. In Miles County, Art the Clown is mysteriously revived in the morgue and kills the coroner. In the beginning of his crime spree, in the Halloween night, the teenager Sienna and her brother Jonathan are hunted down by Art and his partner, the little pale girl. After random objects falling from the sky result in the death of their father, ranch-owning siblings O.J. and Emerald Haywood attempt to capture video evidence of an unidentified flying object with the help of tech salesman Angel Torres and documentarian Antlers Holst. After witnessing a bizarre, traumatic incident involving a patient, Dr. Rose Cotter starts experiencing frightening occurrences that she can't explain. Rose must confront her troubling past in order to survive and escape her horrifying new reality. Trapped on her family's isolated farm, Pearl must tend to her ailing father under the bitter and overbearing watch of her devout mother, lusting for a glamorous life like she's seen in the movies. Pearl finds her ambitions, temptations, and repressions all colliding in this origin story of X's iconic villain. In town for a job interview, a young woman arrives at her Airbnb rental late at night, only to find that the house has been mistakenly double booked and a strange man is already staying there. Against her better judgment, she decides to stay the night anyway, but soon discovers that there is much more to be afraid of in the house than the other house guest. 